EA just revealed some more new information about Battlefield 2042's open beta that you should definitely know about regarding progression and way way more. So next to the progression that has a maximum level of 99 and of course the second way of ranking up is ranking up the S level which goes from 001 to S999 which is basically two ways of ranking up you should know that the beta is not going to let you progress for the full game itself in other words progression from the open beta or the early beta is not going to transfer over to the full game so even if you play the first four days like non-stop and you rank all the way up to let's say level 80 you will not have that rank as you start off playing the full game later on. I thought there's probably a lot of you that do assume that all of the progress you make in a beta is going to transfer over to the full game, but no, that's not the case. So to get the early access, you can pre-order the game itself, which is around $70 on the next gen console, but what you can do as well, just spend only $1 on EA Play. And this works with Xbox and PlayStation, so only $1 in order to play that early access of Battlefield 2042 on the PlayStation you can do so even without having PlayStation Plus and on the Xbox you will actually need the Game Pass. For PC players you can also get EA Plus which will cost you around $5 and that way you can also access the Battlefield 2042 beta early. The beta also includes crossplay just like the full game will and you will be able to play between the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S and the PC and then separately the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One can also crossplay. PS4 and the Xbox One of course have smaller maps with only 64 players and that's why those crossplays are working separately. There's a big chance that console players will be able to use mouse and key keyboard later on as well. Electronic Arts has said that they are actually thinking about adding this feature to the console, so PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. EA doesn't know just yet if they want to apply this feature to all consoles, reason being that of course crossplay could be a terrible experience because of that. So they're still thinking about it and of course I will let you know if they consider to do it. For Battlefield 2014 the anti-cheat system is more than ready not just for the full game itself but it will already be used during the early as well as the open beta which is of course good good news we know that people that are cheating will be disconnected mid-match they will be permanently banned across all platforms they have that account connected to and cheaters can even be banned on that specific hardware. For those who are wondering this is what the report menu will look like. You have of course different reasons to report someone or try to get someone banned for of course cheating and exploiting but gameplay sabotage like someone that is actually trolling or harassment they are very very serious about this. So far there's no information about the new hazard zone mode just yet no official information at least but they do let us know that the portal mode will be available from day one when it comes to the full game itself so on November 19 2021 and of course I partnered up with electronic arts to show you guys exclusive gameplay when I can right here on the channel first if you like this video make sure to give the video a big thumbs up of course you still have a chance to win battlefield 2042 on on your platform of choice simply by clicking the link in the pinned comment and being subscribed with your post notifications turned on. So of course do not miss out on all those exclusive bangers. There's two videos on the screen, one for you to click on. My name is Cheese, I'm out. Peace.